So you're designing or building a stucco house. It's one of the most common cladding materials, especially in the southern United States, and you really want that classic stucco aesthetic. But how do you install traditional stucco when you have exterior rigid insulation on your building without resorting to a synthetic EIFS system? With continuous insulation becoming a code requirement in many parts of the United States, this is becoming an increasingly common building condition that we have to solve for. In this video, we're talking about our preferred stucco strategy when we have exterior rigid insulation on the outside of our walls. We'll be walking through a mock-up that we constructed of this assembly and discussing some of the finer details. Let's get into it. So before we get into the actual stucco installation, I think it's important to first talk about how we're integrating this exterior insulation. You'll see right here that we have a mock-up of a window corner. This specific wall assembly is set up to receive three to three and a half inches of exterior rigid insulation. We are using a two by four buck to extend the rough opening to the exterior face of the rigid insulation. Now there's a couple ways to actually integrate a window buck. You can either install the buck within the rough opening so that it is bearing on top of the rough sill and rough opening, or in some cases you can actually fasten the buck to the rough opening from the exterior side using some heavy duty wood screws. And this is something that we've done when we are dealing with an existing building where we can't alter the rough opening. Whether or not you can actually do this is really dependent on the size of the buck, whether it is a flange window or a flangeless window and the weight of the window that you are supporting. I wouldn't do this with a large triple glazed picture window. Now they sent us a window corner section that was oriented in the opposite direction so we had to modify the installation just for these demonstration purposes so don't mind the sill weeps on the jam side. So before the window gets installed we coat the entire rough opening in a liquid applied flashing and that liquid applied flashing ensures that we have a monolithic watertight transition from the surface of the weather barrier that's the blue skin VP 100 that you see here to the surface of the buck. We then installed the window unit, which in this case is a flange unit, and flashed that back to the flashed buck using either more liquid applied flashing, or we can use a compatible flashing tape. In this case, we're using a pressure sensitive acrylic flashing tape that can easily bond to this particular liquid applied flashing. And this just makes it a lot easier to replace the windows in the future if we ever need to, or in our case, reuse the window section. So that's our window prep. Next, we're installing two layers of one and a half inch rock wool comfort board. This is our rigid insulation that we're using in this assembly, but you could just as well use XPS or EPS foam, poly iso or wood fiber insulation. Now, because we are using two layers of rigid insulation, we want to install the insulation with staggered and offset joints. This is best practice to avoid energy loss at the seams. We fasten the rigid insulation to the wall using some wood screws with a plastic insulation washer, and that just prevents the fastener from passing all the way through the insulation, and so that washer holds everything in place and also prevents over compression of the insulation. Then, to install our traditional stucco, we are calling for a dimple mat product with an integrated fiberglass lath. There are a couple of companies that make this, but our preferred products are either the Delta Dry and Lath from Dorkin or Drain and Dry Lath, which is more or less the same product. This is basically a high density polyethylene sheet with these 3 8 inch dimples, and it uncouples the stucco from the wall assembly by providing a bond break, a capillary break, drainage, an air gap, and a substrate for the stucco with an integrated lath for the stucco reinforcement. Incidentally, we ended up ordering the wrong product, but I think this is a good opportunity to show the alternative way of doing it. This particular product is called Delta Dry Stucco and Stone. It can still be used for this application, it's just we have the added step of installing an expanded metal lath over this dimple mat. This dimple mat product has a filter fabric facer bonded to it to prevent mortar or the stucco brown coat from clogging the drainage holes while maintaining the drainage gap behind it. If we had the product with the integrated fiberglass lath reinforcement, we would fasten the dimple mat directly to the wall through the rigid insulation and into the studs every six inches on center vertically and every 16 inches on center horizontally using fasteners that hit the minimum structural embedment for the withdrawal strength. Now, because we have the added step of installing metal lath, it's best to attach the dimple mat with a few fasteners here and there just to temporarily hold it in place, then install the metal lath over the dimple mat using the actual fastening schedule so that you don't have to double up those fasteners. Now, we're using the same fasteners that we use to attach our rigid insulation. It's just a wood screw with a plastic washer. Basically, that plastic washer is going to help to prevent over compression of the dimple mat and the rigid insulation, and also prevent the fastener from passing all the way through the dimple mat. That washer catches the fastener before it can penetrate any further. Around our window openings and other fenestration, we would terminate the stucco at a corner bead or J trim. 
We'll put up a detail up here to show what that looks like. So that's our preferred stucco assembly with exterior insulation that actually uses a true three coat stucco and not a synthetic rendering over rigid foam. We might be using some materials that you haven't heard of or haven't seen used in this way, but these dimple mats have a lot of utility and can be used in a lot of different ways. They're not just for your foundation, they're not just for uncoupling your floors, they can be used for a wide range of different applications. Now, there is an alternative that we occasionally specify in lieu of this dimple mat solution. If our clients want the appearance of stucco, but either can't afford this assembly or can't find a contractor willing to implement it, James Hardy does make these large 4x8 panels that look very similar to stucco and are installed as you'd install any panelized siding. They go up extremely quickly, and you can install these panels right over your furring strips. While it isn't true stucco, it gets you about 80 or 90% of the way there, and it's going to have a higher likelihood of success. Guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more weekly building science videos and head over to our website at assiri-designs.com where we have over 150 free building science articles that cover a wide range of topics. Links will be in the description below. For now, good luck with your projects. Cheers.